Hi there and welcome to another Fishing Planet 2020 Christmas video and this is another follow-up on the exploration videos so far and just adding some uh, useful information that has all been provided I'm very happy to say by feedback from um, my channel so I'm very grateful to Wesley Bunce and to Q11 uh, for the um, excellent feedback that they've given. There are three main topics here to talk about. Uh, the first is that uh, Q11 suggests firstly that you should go for the glasses mission first. Um, so basically you'd be going for all the crappy and then um, doing this mission to get the polar light glasses because apparently you can then travel to Lone Star, uh, Tiber, uh, Lesney Villia, um, Emerald and Everglades and from the blue bags I believe you'll find a silver token in each one. So that would mean that uh, if you can unlock those red glasses, polar glasses, you could get an extra five tokens per day, which would make quite a big difference, I think, uh, if you're looking at doing this over the course of the holidays or the holiday period. So that's um, really useful. I was, I must admit, I was wondering what was in the blue and the red Santa sack. So um, yeah, that's really useful, useful stuff. So thank you for that. Uh, the second thing that Q11 mentioned is that for the, when you get as far as the bandit Araku, um, there, the problem there apparently is that you'll be catching the other fish uh, way beyond what you actually need. I'm going to bring up a slide in a minute to show you my progress so far and um, some interesting sort of points along um, those lines but the problem will come where you actually have caught all the um, the little gobies that you want and you continue to catch them uh, while the music's playing or you're using the ground bait that I'm going to come on to talking about in a minute and what you actually want is specifically the bandits and apparently a good way around that so I'm told is to use the um, the Maron River uh, bait so this of course does assume that you're at the higher level as somebody else on my channel pointed out if we go to the inventory and just have a quick look I don't think I've actually got any I've got the other one there's there's two this is um, the, however this is pronounced Jayori palm fruit but there's another one let's see if we can find it in the shop um, but it's going to be right at the end because it's for I think it was introduced for Maron you use it there it's this one I think uh, the Maurice palm fruit I'm pretty sure it's that one that he meant or, or Q11 meant and apparently that means that you uh, catch specifically the um, bandit Araku and you can see if you are at that level then that's incredibly um, good value you know 50 of those for 270 credits is um, is phenomenal so you could afford to get two or three hundred of those quite easily if you're at that level if you're not at that level I think I have seen somewhere on the uh, various channels that I've been sort of flicking around today um, that possibly Mayfly might work um, Mayfly and something else um, not sure whether it's possibly Leech um, I was watching a stream earlier with um, Sabi who's uh, one of the good YouTubers and uh, I think he uh, had some notes on there suggesting that but apparently these work really well for specifically targeting the, the bandits and not getting the other two festival fish so that's the second piece of 
really useful information that's um, come back to me. Very grateful for that. And thirdly, from um, Wesley Bunce, some very interesting information in that uh, what concerned me about using the ground bait, there's two, two things to talk about with the ground bait. First of all, um, the mega cookie mix um, is you only get a small amount of it. You don't even get one kilogram each time. And also um, the other the other point to make is that uh, you need to um, load it into here and throw it into water and not put it in the feeders. But let's just come back to the issue of not getting very much of it. The um, the way around this apparently is the fact that you can mix it with other uh, bases. So what you can actually do is to, um, let's see if we can make a base up. So yes, as you can see, you can put your mega cookie ground bait in there, but then you can put something else like ground fish feeder in, and I'm not putting in the right numbers here, but you get the idea. Rather than just putting um, the mega cookie ground bait in, you put that in and then make it up with lots more of something else. So a small amount of this, I gather, and then a much larger amount of something else to, to pad it out. And then obviously whatever um, aromas you want to put in to, to make it up. So that's the um, that's the, the third topic. As I say, the other thing you've got to bear in mind is once you've made that up and you've got it in your um, ground bait mix ready made up, then you want to load it in here so you can then actually throw it in the water. So you're not putting it in a, a feeder in the water um, on the line, you're actually throwing it into the water. And what that does effectively is to create a little um, area of the of the sort of magic steam or whatever coming up off the water that you get a very large one of with a jukebox this just creates a little mini version of that and you can fish in it and um, and catch the fish very very quickly that way uh, now i'm just going to put up on the um, screen now a chart showing my progress So you can see on this chart my progress so far after using seven tokens, uh, which makes for fairly frightening viewing really when you look particularly at the bandit on the right hand side. Not only are the numbers uh, you can see of the gobies caught, um, the taller lines are the target for each fish and the, uh, the darker lines to the right are what I've caught so far. The numbers uh, are a lot lower for the crappy and the bandit, um, but they are, they're also massively lower in relation to the target. So I've got an awfully long way to go. Um, and as I said earlier, what I may well be doing now is to target the crappy in order to get the uh, polar glasses. Uh, so I may shift over to that, but that gives you some idea after seven tokens worth um, of fishing. Uh, that's how far I've got. Looks like the goby actually isn't going to be, you know, too difficult. Um, but looking at the bandit, um, that's going to be uh, quite a quite a big job. Um, so it's going to be fairly imperative that I get my hands on tokens on a fairly regular basis, I think, and also master the ground bait situation. As you can see from that chart, I've got an awfully long way to go and it really puts it into perspective uh, exactly, you know, how big this mission is, even if you are getting the bait coin um, 
DLCs to give you more tokens. But I think to some degree we've got around that problem because once you get the uh, glasses, you can pick up the tokens each day. So uh, that's that's good news. Uh, I wonder whether the other bag, maybe the red one, maybe contains this each time. And of course, remember to go around the stockings each day, uh, and the locations that have them, uh, because you will get this and tokens in, in those as well. So I hope that has helped you guys. Uh, I'm doing a little bit more at Lone Star now because that tends to be more where the uh, crappies are. So let's just um, travel there. And we'll set up and see if we can increase our crappy numbers, but it will also be increasing the um, the numbers for the gobies as well, which is no bad thing uh, at this stage. Uh, so we'll just have one round just for the fun of it. So I think the uh, blue sack is on the other side. It's somewhere over there. Don't know whether we can see it in that. Yes, you can just see it just to the right of the uh, the red column. I think I'm pretty sure that's it. In fact, let's just go over and have a look just to make sure. Is that it there? Yeah. So that's the blue sack that I gather has the tokens in if you've got the polar lights that I was talking about earlier. Uh, but let's just come back over here and set things up and have a quick fish with the uh, jukebox going. Let's put everything in ready. Remember where my rods are. So I think I've got one in one. One in five. And one in four. I had a go at this earlier on at Lone Star. And um, it was all I could do to keep up with three rods. So I don't think I'm going to bother setting up another uh, rod for this. But let's just have a quick...
I don't think there's anything else to mention guys so I'm just going to fish on to the end of this section of jukebox and then I'll say goodbye until next time. <laughs>